Hey friend, welcome, welcome. I'm always excited to know that you clicked on this episode and you're hanging out with me. Nothing gives me so much joy to know that you're on the other side listening. Now, when I decided to start my podcast or to go into online coaching, I decided to start by building my audience first. And I've talked about this on the podcast where I chose the audience first path. It simply means I didn't start out by creating coaching programs or coaching packages. I said, I just want to add value to my audience. So I'm going to launch a podcast and I'm going to show up every week to add value to them. Now, along the line, Questions like, how do I make money while I am still trying to build my coaching packages, my coaching programs? And you might be asking the same question because maybe like me, you've decided to start your service-based business using the audience first path. Either you've decided to start by launching a blog or podcast or YouTube channel, and you're not quite ready to create your product yet because you're still trying to learn more about your customer, their number one problem, their number one desire. If that's your case, then this episode is for you. In today's episode, I talk about the number one way to make money online when you don't have any services or offers to sell yet. Yes, I'm going to go into all the details in this episode. So grab a notebook, grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, and let's dive into today's episode. Are you ready to streamline your focus and get clarity to start your online service-based business? Are you tired of struggling with lack of clarity, self-doubt, and the fear of being a public failure? Do you wish you had a clear plan you could follow to make your calling a reality? Hey friend, you don't have to stay stuck any longer. With a renewed mindset and a clear plan, you can start a business that fulfills your calling and makes a profit. I'm your host, Chichi Ukomado, a Christian business coach, Jesus follower, and a seven-figure service-based entrepreneur. In this podcast, I'll teach you how to streamline your focus, get clarity on your business idea, create your business launch plan, set up your business essentials, and launch your sustainable and profitable business from scratch. You will get tons of encouragement, godly wisdom, and accountability to grow in your faith and new business journey. It's time to partner with God and take your first step to start that business. You know the one I'm talking about? Yes, that one you've been putting off for a long time. The audience first path is a path I chose when I decided to go into business coaching and starting my podcast. Because I have an existing service-based business and because of how much time that business takes from me, I decided to start with an audience first path, which means I decided to just launch my podcast and spend time giving back to my listeners before creating any coaching packages or coaching programs and things like that. And with that comes the thought of how do I make money while I'm taking this path? And that is what I'm going to spend time talking about in today's episode. The number one way to make money online when you do not have an offer to sell or when you choose to launch your service-based business using the audience first path is to become an affiliate for other people's product and services. Yes, affiliate or becoming an affiliate is the number one way you can make money online while you are getting to learn your audience, while you're getting to learn their number one problem, their number one desire, while you're building your own services. You may have heard about affiliate marketing or people talk about affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is simply a performance-based marketing strategy that any business owner can use 
to sell more of their products and services. It is a commission-based agreement. So they have people sign up as affiliates or partners, people partner with them to sell their services and they give them a commission whenever they make a sale of that product or whatever service they are selling. So as an affiliate, you simply partner with a business to promote their products and their services in exchange for a commission. And that can serve as an income for you when you do not have your own services to sell yet, especially when you want to focus on building your audience. That is a good way to go, which is becoming an affiliate for another person's product or service. So how do you become an affiliate? How do you become an affiliate for other people's products or other people's services? Now, the steps is very easy to become an affiliate. The first thing you can do is to make a list of the products or services you have used or you believe in, because you don't just want to sell some other person's stuff that you haven't used or you do not believe in. So for me, every business that I sign up to be an affiliate for is either I have used their product or their service, or I believe in the value that they provide because I care so much about my audience and I don't want to sell something to them just in the name of making money that is not valuable and that doesn't take them to the transformation they are seeking. So if you're signing up to be, or if you're making a list, I highly recommend that you become affiliates for products or services you have used that you can vouch for to an extent or you believe in, and also products and services that are relevant to your existing audience or the audience that you're going to promote it to. So you don't just want to promote random things that are not relevant to your audience. Again, it's all about value here. I know we want to make money online, but we serve and then we sell. <laughs> so you want to make sure that it is, is valuable. The second thing you can do to become an affiliate is after you've made your list, you can sign up to become an affiliate for the business that you have listed. So for an example, I am an affiliate for my podcast coach. So the lady that coached me on how to start a podcast, after I successfully launched my podcast, guess what? I signed up to be an affiliate for her podcasting course. So I signed up to be an affiliate, which is what you can do. You sign up to be an affiliate. When you sign up, you get an affiliate link to the products or services that you are going to be promoting. So that link is a unique link that you can share with your audience, you can share with the people you are going to promote it to. When you sign up to become an affiliate, you also get to set up a payment method that the person you are promoting for is going to use to pay you your commission. So you set all these things up when you sign up to become an affiliate. And once you have signed up, the next thing you can do is you start telling your audience, your social media followers, your friends, your family about this product or service that you have signed up to become an affiliate for. You share your affiliate link with your audience and you get paid whenever someone clicks on that link and they purchase that product or service. So that is how you can become an affiliate. That is how the process works. You make a list, you sign up, you set up your payment method to get your commission. Then you start telling your friends and family members about it. When they sign up and they purchase, you get paid. So how much can you expect to earn as an affiliate? Now, if you're an affiliate for physical products, your commission can range anywhere from 1% to 10%. If you're an affiliate for a digital product or services, 
your commission can range anywhere from 20% to up to 50% or even 75% or more. It depends on the business that you are signing up to be an affiliate for. I've seen businesses that pay up to 20% in commission. I've seen businesses that pay up to 50% in commission. So this is a way you can be earning as you are building your audience and you're creating your services that you will sell when you're done creating them. So what digital products or services can you become an affiliate for? Now, like I said earlier, you can become an affiliate for products that you have used. So if you have taken a course before, a digital course, and it helped you and you got the transformation you needed, you can become an affiliate for that course. If you have business apps that you use, say for your email, for your CRM, for your cart, if you are selling digital products, maybe you use different communication apps. So there are so many apps you can sign up to become an affiliate for. Digital courses, like I said, if you have been a member of a mastermind program and you enjoyed the program and it was valuable, you can sign up to become an affiliate for that. So the options are limitless. You can become an affiliate for pretty much any business that has an affiliate marketing feature or an affiliate marketing offer. You can sign up to become an affiliate for them. So when do you expect to get paid when you sign up to become an affiliate? Now, it varies. It depends on the business that you partnered with to become an affiliate for them. Some businesses, they pay their affiliates monthly. Some pay bi-weekly. Some pay quarterly. Some pay biannually. So you definitely want to read the fine print when you are signing up to become an affiliate so that you know when you will get paid. A lot of businesses that do affiliate marketing or have that kind of offer, they pay using PayPal, Stripe, or other uh, payment uh, processors. So they'll require you to either have a PayPal account or a Stripe account, which you will connect. And a lot of them manage their affiliates online using apps that help them manage their affiliates. So when you sign up, everything is done digitally. The commissions are paid out automatically based on the uh, frequency that they have selected. So either monthly, bi-weekly, quarterly. So make sure you read the fine print before you sign up so that you know when you will get paid. And that is a way you can start earning income even before you create your own products or services to sell. All right, let's recap quick. The number one way to make money online when you don't have your own offer or services to sell yet. And what is that way? Become an affiliate marketer for other businesses or other products and services. I'm reminded of the scripture that says two is better than one for they have a better reward for their labor. Maybe you have not created your own services or your own products or your own offers yet. You can partner with other businesses that have helped you along the way. Maybe you've purchased a course or a product. You can partner with them and help them sell their own services so that you can make a commission and both, both parties, it's a win-win situation. So partner with a business today and start making money online by becoming an affiliate marketer. I would love it if you could leave a review for this podcast on Apple Podcasts or the podcast app you're using to listen. This is the number one way I know you're getting value from the content on this podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. I hope you learned something new and you were encouraged to take action. If so, will you stop right now and share this episode with someone so they can get the help you just got? I would also love it if you can leave a review for this podcast on Apple Podcasts or the podcast app you're using to listen. 
This is the number one way I know you are getting value from the content on this podcast. Until next time, always remember you have all you need to start that business. So keep listening for more episodes. I'll meet you here next week. 